Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will find the convolution of x of n and h of n. So, x of n is given as cos n pi, okay, into u of n, and h of n is given as one by two to the power n into u of n, okay. So, it is important to understand the behavior of of cos n pi. So basically, cos n pi will be equal to what? Minus one to the power n means that this will give you one if n is what even, and this will give you minus one if n is what odd. Hope these things are clear to you. Fine. This is from trigonometry. So hope this is clear to you. Fine. So basically. What is our agenda? Our agenda is to calculate the convolution sum. Clear. So now from here, what we can write? X of n is equal to what? Cos n pi into u of n, and we know cos n pi is what? Minus one to the power n. So this will become minus one to the power n into u of n, and this will be what? One by two to the power n into u of n. Clear. So hope this much is clear to you. Now let's move further. So what is this h of n, boss? H of n is a impulse response, and what is this x of n? It is a input. So both are multiplied with u of n, and if both are multiplied with u of n, it means what? The impulse response h of n and the input x of n are zero for n. Smaller than zero. That means both h of n and x of n are what causal in nature. Are what causal in nature. Clear? So we got to know about the behavior of x of n and h of n. So we can use the formula directly. So for a causal system excited by a causal input. What is the formula? Y of n is equal to what? Summation of x of m into h of n minus m, where the limit of m ranges from zero to n. Okay. Now this will be equal to what? Summation of x of m. So x of n is this. So x of m is what basically minus one to the power m into u of m. Okay, and h of n minus m will be what? One by two to the power n minus m into u of n minus m, where the limit of m ranges from zero to n. Okay, now let's go and solve further. So this will be evaluated to one, and this will be evaluated to one in this range. So you can write it as. Simply summation of minus one to the power m into one by two to the power n minus m, where the limit of m ranges from zero to n. Okay. Now the same thing you can write it as summation of limit is what m is equal to zero to n, and here it will be. Minus one to the power m, and this you can write it as one by two to the power n into it will become two to the power m. Okay, clear. Now bring this term outside, so it will become one by two to the power n into summation of minus one to the power m into two to the power m. So it will become minus two to the power m, and the limit of m is what from zero to n. Same. Hope it is clear to you. Now using finite geometric series sum formula. So you have to apply the formula on this, right? We did this in the last lecture also. So when you apply on this, so here y of n will become what? One by two. To the power n into apply the formula here, so it will become one minus 
minus 2 to the power upper limit is sort 1 so n plus 1 divide by 1 minus of minus 2 okay okay fine now let's go further so it will be what 1 by 2 to the power n clear so this will become what 1 if you evaluate the down one 1 minus of minus 2 means what 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 2 is what basically 3 now let's solve the upper one this one so here it is what 1 so 1 now here it is what minus 2 to the power n plus 1 so minus 2 to the power n plus 1 so you can write it as minus 2 to the power n into minus 2 okay so this will become what into minus 2 clear so and one minus is already present here so this minus and this minus becomes plus so it will become plus 2 into minus 2 to the power n okay now let's solve further if you want to solve further you can solve or otherwise this is also fine no need to worry but let's solve further so here it will be equal to what it will be equal to so what i'm doing is i'm taking this one by three outside so basically three outside okay one by three outside so it will become one by three into into 1 by 2 to the power n okay plus now 2 by 3 into so 2 by 3 into what into minus 1 to the power n clear for what for for n greater than 0 for n what greater than 0 boss this much is clear to you any doubt in this so you might be thinking how it becomes minus 1 to the power n boss i am multiplying this with this term and this term also right so here if you see down 2 to the power n is there and here minus 2 to the power n is there that is why it becomes what minus 1 to the power n hope it is clear to you fine now this will be equal to what final result i am going to write so 1 by 3 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 to the power n if you want to if you want this to be defined for only this then you can multiply simply with u of n here and the second term also you can multiply with u of n u of n so it will be defined only for this so hope it is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section any confusion in this see basically let me explain you this part i think that peoples will get confused so what will happen one to the power one by two to the power n okay when i multiply with this so it will become what into two by three okay into minus two to the power n okay so here it will be two by three into minus 2 to the power n divided by 2 to the power n so this will become 2 by 3 into this becomes what minus 2 divided by 2 to the whole power n now tell me what is this 2 by 3 into minus 1 to the power n this is how it comes this is how it comes boss okay so still if you have any doubt in this you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching